so I can post a recording for people who couldn't attend and we'll just get started. So, all right, welcome everyone for uh, to the Q2 Hackathon. Uh, it's, 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 I was just thinking like I was putting the slides together. It's, it's hard to believe we, we already gone past like three months from the last hackathon. So it's, it's good to resume our, uh, quarterly event. Uh, and I'll just, uh, go through a few slides in the kickoff sessions and talk about, uh, what we want to accomplish in the next couple of days. Um, so let me, yeah, advance the slide. Uh, so, uh, um, if you uh, listen to other like a kickoff sessions or attended the previous sessions, so the agenda should be pretty familiar. Uh, we'll just remind people on the community code of conduct and uh, discuss several logistic items for the hackathon. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, I mean, feel free to interrupt us. I mean, you don't have to wait until uh, the Q and A session till the end uh, to. Uh, to uh, ask a question either verbally or, I mean, feel free to uh, type them in the Zoom chat window as well. Um, and uh, just a quick reminder, I mean, we do have a community code of conduct here at GitLab. Uh, I mean, the, the events that we have, whether it's virtual or face-to-face, -face, it's a good time to sort of remind people that we have a code of conduct. Uh, I mean, not that we, Necessarily anticipate negative things happening uh, during the hackathon, but uh, it's it's good to remind people that we we want to treat each other with respect and be a welcoming community. Uh, so if you can read more details on the about.getlab.com page, uh, there's a page for code of conduct there. You can see the link, uh, and also email if you have any concerns that you want to bring up as well. So just a reminder on the code of conduct, um, and. Uh, uh, quick introduction of a couple of GitLab team members that are here, and uh, David, I'll I'll let you go first. Oh, David, can you hear me? Oh, we may have lost David for some reason. Uh, Dennis, can you hear me? Okay. Uh, yeah, I hear you. Oh, okay, so there must be a. Uh, audio video issue with David. Uh, but anyhow, uh, so I, I'm, I manage, um, I'm basically a community manager at GitLab. I, I manage the code contributor program. I mean, basically what that means is that I work with a uh, wider community of contributors uh, that contribute to GitLab and, and David uh, is, is, my, is my manager. He's based in Germany. He, uh, he's a director of community relations. Uh, overseeing not just uh, the code contributor program, but evangelist program, um, education program, uh, community advocates, and so forth. Um, so, I mean, feel free to ping us either on Gitter or or through MRs or issues. I mean, um, not only just through the hackathon, but but outside of the hackathon as well. So, this is who we are, um, and uh, just we'll move on to logistics uh, at a glance. Uh, so basically, obviously, this is a kickoff session uh, that we're kicking off uh, right now. And we'll also have a wrap-up session uh, uh, towards the end of the day on, on Thursday, on the 30th. Um, so um, and, and in addition to these um, uh, kickoff and wrap-up sessions, uh, we also have uh, uh, three other tutorial sessions that are scheduled for, uh, for the 29th. Uh, so hopefully you'll join us as well. And all the tutorial sessions will be on Zoom and will also be recorded. Um, so if you uh, happen to uh, miss uh, any of the tutorial sessions because of other commitments or time zone issues, you should be able to find the links on the main hackathon page. Uh, and I'll have a more detailed slide on this as well, but uh, especially during the event, a lot of conversation and questions uh, can be Post it on our contributors channel on Gitter, and I believe that's our next slide. Uh, yep. So, uh, if you're not part of it already, uh, join us on on the contributor channel on, on Gitter. Uh, so, if you just follow that link, uh, if you're not part of it already, you can join as well. It's a, it's pretty seamless. You can uh, uh, you don't even need to create a separate login. You can just uh, join with your GitLab ID. 
Uh, and if you have any questions, uh, there, as you can see, there are over 200 people uh, that are part of the um, part of the channel uh, that are available to answer any questions. But if you want to get our attention, you can just ping either me or David uh, with our handle there as well. So, cool. Uh, moving along. Um, uh, so speaking of uh, tutorial sessions, I'll be leading another session uh, uh, tomorrow morning Pacific time. Uh, so uh, this is something that I probably should have done in previous hackathons or at least a couple of hackathons ago. Uh, we have a lot of new contributors that are joining uh, the hackathons and, and contributing new MRs uh, for each release. Uh, so just wanted to have a quick uh, basic overview session on where and how you can contribute to GitLab. Uh, so that'll be me tomorrow. And then following my session will be Jason. Uh, he's a director of product uh, focused on CICD. And he's going to talk uh, specifically about uh, GitLab release stage. Um, if you remember from the last uh, tutorials in the last, uh, during the last quarter, we had, I think, three or four product managers talking about different product stages at GitLab. Uh, so basically, we're continuing on that because uh, those are pretty popular uh, looking at the number of people that have viewed the recording. So Jason will uh, talk about the release stage, uh, and then he'll be followed by Joshua. I'll uh, be talking about uh, GitLab distribution and our monitor. Uh, so uh, uh, feel free to join us. Uh, we have the Zoom links on the main hackathon page that you can you can click on to join those sessions. And uh, again, if you miss any of those sessions, I mean, feel free to follow the uh, watch the recording uh, after the event. Uh, so that's uh, the uh, that's uh, that's the tutorials. Uh, in terms of uh, MRs and prizes, uh, the logistics of these are are pretty similar to past hackathons. Uh, if you submit your MRs. Um, uh, between now and uh, end of day tomorrow, I mean, feel free to mention either me or David um, uh, by you know, typing something like cc at rpeg at uh, dplanella, and I just may add a comment that this is for the hackathon, and we'll be we'll be happy to add the hackathon la uh, hackathon label. Uh, for, uh, so we want to keep track of MRs for for. Um, obviously for prizes and uh, obviously for prizes and all the MRs for the hackathon will be tracked on that issue. Uh, and right before the call, I was, I checked and uh, not, surprising, not surprisingly, somebody in the APAC region, I believe the contributor is based in China, uh, already got us started with an MR um, uh, that was open. Uh, so there's already uh, one MR that's listed there and we hope to have uh, a lot more added to the list. Uh, like we did in the past uh, couple of quarters. Uh, prizes for uh, merge MRs, um, uh, like we did in the past, anyone with a merge MR will receive a prize. Uh, and there are a couple of ind other individual prizes as well. Uh, there'll be a, a grand prize for people with the most uh, MRs merge. Uh, and uh, I mean, if you look at the past couple of quarters, uh, a couple of hackathons, uh, and I mean, there are a number of people, uh, I mean, that are pretty close, like a second place finisher. So we decided to add a second place winner prize as well uh, to, to whoever has the second most MRs merge. Uh, so those are the prizes that are available. Uh, and the, the only caveat is that uh, the, uh, MRs, they must be merged by uh, June 10th, basically, towards the end of the day, UTC. Um, so that, uh, please um, uh, be aware of that deadline as well on the June 10th, and that's uh, highlighted on the um, main hackathon page. Uh, and, and similar to the previous events, uh, the prize winners will be notified uh, by an issue on the hackathon project, and you can uh, click on that link and, and see how the announcements were made in the, in the past. Okay, uh, so speaking of prizes, uh, I mean, this is on the hackathon page as well, uh, but uh, uh, so these are uh, the three category of prizes that we have. Uh, 
uh, so following the tool theme, uh, tool theme, uh, we uh, we had a multi-tool um, that you can fit in the wallet last time. So the everyone who has MRS merged will, will get a GitLab uh, tool pen. Um, uh, I mean, this is probably a pretty handy tool to have if you actually go camping. Um, the tip, the the silver tip there is basically a, actually a flashlight. Uh, you can and you can also see like in inside in the middle uh, the the screwdriver pieces there that that you can use as well. Um, and the second place winner would would get a, a folio bag uh, to protect your laptop. And for the grand prize, uh, basically a hundred dollar uh, gift certificate at at our merchandise store. Uh, so you can s uh, spend that hundred dollars as as um, uh, to purchase any of the merchandise that are available there. Uh, so those are the prizes. Uh, and just want to show some quick stats. Uh, I mean, one of the questions I get is, I mean, uh, especially for the grand, grand prize winners, how many MRs do they have merged in the past? So I just want to show some stats. Uh, the blue charts basically shows how many MRs have been merged in the, in the past uh, three hackathons since we started in Q3 of 2018. Um, obviously, we had a great uh, significant growth uh, from we, uh, we had like a 22 MRs merge, uh, 22 MRs submitted uh, in Q3, and in the last quarter we had 67. Uh, you know, hopefully, we'll uh, see an even more impressive growth in, in Q2. And basically, the grand prize winner, the numbers range from like 7 to 13, so that's sort of the range that you're looking at. Um, so. Uh, so just wanted to share that really quickly. Uh, and uh, the other question that I get from a lot of the people that are joining Hackathon uh, for the first time is, you know, you know, the question is, you know, where can we find issues to get started? Uh, so uh, let me actually get out uh, of the full screen mode. And uh, Let's see, so here's a suggested list. Uh, this takes you to an issue page um, that uh, that we're maintaining uh, for 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 like you know good issues for first-time contributors and experienced contributors as well. Uh, so it's it's possible that this list will be updated over the next couple of days. Uh, so wanted to provide a link. Um, and if you're interested in working on any of these issues, uh, I mean, feel free to ping me or David, uh, and then we'll be happy to like assign them, assign those issues to you, uh, and also remove the accepting merge request label, so we we don't have uh, somebody else who jumped in and expressed interest in working on them. Um, so we have like a two categories for first-time contributors. Um, I mean. The, you will see a query there. Well, let me actually go there really quick and share that with you on the screen. So basically, it has a label of accepting merge requests uh, with a milestone of backlog. Uh, so, I mean, this milestone basically um, says the GitLab team members have looked at this issue in the past, and this is something they actually wanted to add to their backlog in terms of priority. It also has a weight or difficulty of one. Uh, so this is why this is, uh, these are issues that are good for like first time contributors. Uh, Cause I mean, one is, is basically the lowest that you go uh, difficulty or weight that you can have on issues. Uh, so uh, these are relatively issues that we think that people get, get started on. And I mean, there are like a 30 of them right now that uh, if you're a first time contributor or relatively new contributor that if you want relatively, um, a bite-sized issue that you can tackle. I mean, this is a good uh, list that you can take a look at. And for some of the more experienced contributors, uh, we have not only the general category, um, uh, but we have uh, issues for like internationalization, documentation, and um, uh, issue that's good for like open source projects that you can take a look at. Uh, but feel free to take a look at these issues at your le uh, at your leisure, and then I mean, let me or David know that if you're interested in uh, uh, tackling any of these. Looks like um, I have a question from Dennis. Uh, oh, so does an MR need to be submitted before the hackathon wrap up? Uh, so 
uh, I mean, basically in terms of the submission, uh, I mean, if you look at the hackathon uh, countdown, it's basically based on your time zone. Uh, so wherever you're located, uh, I mean, consider yourself, uh, I mean, uh, it, it's safe to assume that you can submit the MRs and up until like midnight on, on day two, on May 30th, wherever you're lo located. Um, so, uh, you don't have to have it submitted. Uh, I believe it will be like three o'clock in the afternoon on the 30th my time in, in Pacific time zone. But obviously, if you're in Pacific time zone, you you still have like several more uh, several more hours left in your in your day, right? So just uh, just make sure that you have your MR submitted by uh, midnight on the 30th, where it be located. I mean, it should be fine. So hopefully, uh, that answers your question, Dennis. Um, and let me get back to the slide. I think, Ray, I think the question was uh, yeah. asked more um, whether uh, you can still submit the, the MR after the the thirtieth. Um, I think. I mean. I think. Uh, considering what what Ray said, I would say uh, additionally that yeah, the idea for the hackathon is to be to have an event uh, that is focused on two days of uh, of, uh, of hacking. And the extra time that uh, that we give is because obviously some of the merge requests that are more involved cannot be just merged in um, in two days. So there's uh, there's uh, this extra time uh, for the for the discussion to get the cha new changes in and get it ultimately merged. But the, for for to qualify for the hackathon, the MR has to be uh, have, um, must have been submitted uh, in the two days of the of the hackathon itself. Yeah, yeah. So, and yeah, I mean, thanks for adding adding that, David. I mean, obviously, I mean, there are there are certain MRs that I mean, we I mean, when we created an issue that we we you know we didn't think through all the obstacles that uh, p uh, that people would potentially run into. So, if the MR turns out to be more complicated than 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 we anticipated, then you know we can we can look at like. Uh, um, uh, exceptional circumstances as well, but I mean, like David said, if you can submit the MR by end of the day, uh, you know, end of the day or eleven fifty nine your local time on the thirtieth, that would be appreciated. So, cool. Okay, I uh, think I can move on to the next slide, and let me go back to full screen. Um, so. Once you submitted an MR, uh, you know, if you have questions or need help, I mean, there are three areas that we wanted to highlight. Uh, we talked about Gitter already. Uh, I mean, people are, you know, usually uh, pretty active during the, during the two-day hackathon. So uh, asking questions there, uh, I mean, usually somebody, you know, around the world would, uh, uh, would normally be able to answer your questions. Uh, so I would start there first on the Gitter channel to post your questions. Uh, and a couple of other uh, uh, resources that I want to highlight. I mean, first is a merge request coach. Um, not sure if everybody in the uh, wider community are familiar with the merge request coach. Uh, there's a, uh, uh, there's a, a merge request coach page, uh, merge request uh, coach page that you can take a look at. But basically, these are GitLab team members. Um, there, are, there, are, there are eight of them right now uh, who have basically wanted to help uh, wider community members with, with the MRs. I mean, that's our, uh, I mean, that's our main purpose. Uh, so if you have any questions with your MRs as you're working on something, I mean, they'd be more than happy to uh, help, uh, help you with any questions you have. Uh, so the simple thing that you can do on your MR is by just simply typing, uh, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, let me get out of the full screen mode. So simply by typing at GitLab dash org slash coaches. And that basically pings everybody, all eight people uh, in the MR. So whoever is available uh, or happen to be awake at, the, at their relevant time zones should be able to jump on and and help you out. So that's an easy way to reach all of them. Um, but you can also look at, go to our team page. Let me do that really quickly. And under the department, you should be able to select Merge Request Coach. And whoops, there you go. And you'll, you'll be able to find all eight of them. 
so you see what their uh, area of expertise are. I mean, for example, if, if I want to get a hold of somebody who is familiar with uh, GDK, I mean, Ton is, is a gentleman that you want to get a hold of. But this is a quick way of finding out who the right uh, MR coach might be for your, for your area that, that you're working on. But uh, like I said, I mean, if you want to ping, uh, if you're not sure who to get a hold of, I mean, you can just mention the, the MR coach group by just typing uh, this text right here in your MR issues. Um, and the other uh, resource that I wanted to highlight uh, is the we also have a list of maintainers for various GitLab projects. Uh, so if you click on this link uh, for, I mean, different areas of GitLab, uh, if you want to find out who the reviewers are main, or maintainers are, uh, we have a full list that's completely public, and you are more than welcome to like uh, ping any of these people in your MR as well if you have a question. Um, so, uh, so just wanted to highlight these three areas uh, where you can get help. And I mean, don't be shy about taking, taking advantage of resources that, that are available. I mean, this is, I mean, they're there for, to help wider community members. Um, so, uh, I mean, I, mean I, I would not be shying about I, uh, pinging anybody within GitLab. So that's a completely appropriate thing to do in our community. Okay. and. I think that's all the slides that I have. Uh, David, did, was there anything that I missed or glad that you're back online? Uh, but feel free to add anything I may have missed or if I didn't cover anything. I think, I think that, was, that was pretty much it. That was, um, um, I think we touched uh, all of the points we wanted to talk about. I, you know, I would stress again what, uh, what you've already said. Uh, uh, Please do not feel shy about pinging, uh, pinging people. That's uh, what they are. Or that's what we are uh, there, uh, there for. Uh, so do it on the merge request. Uh, on the merge request, um, do it on uh, on on Gitter, uh, and uh, you'll see that folks will be more than happy to jump in and, and help you on your merge request. Um, if you're working on a merge request, we love to hear about it as well. So uh, feel free to uh, to mention it on uh, on the Gitter channel as well. And uh, finally, I would say. We had, um, if you look at this, looked at the stats from uh, from race presentations, um, we had about uh, 70 uh, or nearly 70 merge requests submitted on the on the last hackathon. It would be, uh, I think, it would be a really uh, nice goal to have uh, to aim 400 this time around um, as a nice round number, and I think that it is something that would be feasible. So, um, yeah. Um, to submit your merge request, um, and um, we'll be more than happy to look at them. Cool. All right, so I uh, don't see any other question on chat, but uh, any other questions uh, from uh, from people that are on the call that I can we can answer? Um, I, like again, I mean, feel free to type them on chat, or or you can unmute yourself and ask your questions. Um, I mean, if you uh, remember a question that uh, that you weren't able to ask uh, after we end the session, I mean, feel free to post them on Gitter, and then uh, I mean, time zone wise, uh, I think between David and I, we have pretty good coverage, so we should uh, one of us should be able to jump on Gitter to answer your questions or find somebody else who can. Cool. All right. Uh, if there are no other questions or comments, I mean, just want to uh, say thank you and wish you happy hacking. Uh, and just uh, ping either one of us if, uh, if there's anything we can do to, to help out, or or if there's or if there's anything that we can do, we can do better in the future. So. Cool. All right. Well, thanks everybody. Uh, we'll. Uh, in the session, and uh, we'll we'll see you guys on on Gitter channel probably. So. All right, thanks everybody. Cheers. Thanks everyone. Bye. Bye.